Hey guys and welcome to yet another video on the Rose Rio channel. It is me, it is I, and today I'm coming at you with a video that um, was very last minute but I really wanted to release a video this week. So this is what I came up with. I haven't been here in so long and that's totally my fault I guess but you can blame my boss too as well. but it's you know it's my fault I take responsibility but I'm trying my best to be as consistent as possible trust me I am going through it all to make sure that I get the content out to the YouTube streets I hope you guys like comment share and subscribe and join the family we're so close to 1k subscribers I can I, I can taste it so let's get to 1k subscribers um yeah and let's get into this video i don't want to talk too much you know i want to get to the juice <laughs> okay 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 right, so this is my makeup bag case thing so I got it on AliExpress two years ago because I was like, I need to stop being serious with this whole makeup collection thing. Because I can't be a bad bitch without a makeup collection. Like, what am I even doing? Like, what's the point? Okay, so let me stop rambling. Let's get into my makeup collection. Let's do uh, palettes. I'm going to do palettes and lashes. In total, I have about nine palettes right not all of them are like eyeshadow palettes they're face palettes like these two palettes from beauty treats moving on to actual eyeshadow palettes i have this makeup revolution um eyeshadow palette this is uh integrity from the wild animal palette collection i think because they have different ones like there's one with like a cheetah print and like all these different things i got this from clicks I got my face palettes from Diskim. Yeah, Beauty Treats Diskim. I got this from Clix. Um, has really pretty, pretty shades. Then I have the Exotic Traveler palette from Catrice. Um, this is no stranger to my channel. I've featured it before. Really love it, really cute, really small. I have this Maybelline um, Countdown palette. I got this for free when Maybelline came to campus to like try and break the world record for most shades matched or something like that. One of my favorite palettes is this Beauty Treats 130 Professional palette. Uh, I got this from Diskim as well. It has everything. Like, look, it's like browns and then like reddish type of browns, like sandy red type of vibes, and then like really, really light white type of shimmers. Some pinks, some blues, a bit of purple, some oranges. Like, I just really like this palette. I feel like it goes with everything. I forgot to add this palette. This is also one of my favorite palettes. Um, there are 63 shades in this palette. Super cute. You know, the vibes. It's, it's okay. I got this from Diskim as well. Adding to that, I have my lashes. So, these lashes I got probably with a wig that I ordered. Not even probably. These lashes I got from a wig or wigs that I ordered. So they're a bit, you know, plasticky. So I'm not really feeling the vibes. But, you know, I'm keeping them because one day I might be able to finesse them. And then these two are my favorite lashes from um, AliExpress. Next up, we have what I am calling prep and finish. So... Basically, my primers and my fixing sprays. So, I have four um, fixing sprays, right? This one right here by Catrice Cosmetics is actually like a priming spray and like a... It's more for skin prepping, so it's more like a primer than an actual setting spray. These three are my three favorite setting sprays. So if I know I'm going out and I'm going to be sweating, there's going to be a lot of activity, like I need to keep my face intact for longer, I go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. Um, I think this is a matte spray because it, it's, it definitely feels matte. 
So this is why I use this when I know that I'm gonna have like a busy day, I need my makeup to be on for longer and all that drama. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray and the Essence You Better Work Gym Proof um, Fixing Spray. These are my two favorite in terms of a dewy look. So today I used the Essence You Better Work Gym Proof um, Setting Spray to set my makeup and I love it. It's dewy, um, your makeup isn't shiny but it's dewy, you like, it literally, it feels good and it looks good. The Wet n Wild Natural Finish um, Setting Spray is also not bad, like it's actually really good. I like it, I just wanted to try something new because why not? Moving on to primers, these are my four besties, um, which I don't really use. I use like two out of the four. Can you guess which one it is if you're a, a regular watcher of my channel if you're a subscriber you know which ones are my favorite okay so i think this was probably the first primer that i ever bought because i saw like a lot of youtubers using it and i was like <laughs> clearly like i want to see what's happening you know i want to see what's popping so i bought this and it worked pretty well and then one day i decided to try this babe over here and i mean she changed the game completely like she was like, this is where it's at. So I sort of forgot about her and started using her and she's nearly finished and she's not cheap. But like, she's quality and she actually works. This works too, but like not as well as her. So mm, that's a bit tense. I have a very oily nose and you can probably start seeing like the shine coming through from my nose. So that is why I use the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base as my primer for my T-zone, so mainly my nose, my forehead, that's actually all where I put it, my nose and my forehead, and it just, yeah, it mattifies everything, so I usually use these two primers together. Okay, so next up on our list is foundation and concealers. Okay, so starting off with foundations, these are the girlies in my collection. We have the Sobe Face First SPF 15 Anti-Aging Foundation Plus Serum in the shade Nutmeg. Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the matte and poreless normal to oily foundation in the shade 356. Then we have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Copper or 340. And then we have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Foundation. This is in the shade Almond. And then last but not least, we have the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation in the shade 530. These are all my babies. If you're a subscriber, please, before I continue, Tell me which foundation I use in every single video. If you said the Revlon uh, Candid Photo Ready Foundation, you are a liar and you're clearly not a subscriber. So please press that subscribe button and let's be friends so you know my foundation and we can... I mean, ma'am, how dare you? This is the first time this has even popped up on my channel. So, I've been using this for a while. I'm actually wearing it today. And I love this foundation, it's great. It's, you know, I can't fault it, it's, it gets the job done. But my all time favorite foundation that I use, no matter what, like that girl that I go to and I know she's never gonna disappoint me. I never have to worry about her caking up. I never have to worry about her melting. I never have to worry about her doing funny things to me. Is this girl you right here? This girl is my girl. This foundation, guys, I think I've been using since last year or something. I don't know how long I've been using this foundation, but it is the girl that she claims she is. She, she, she does it. You know when she says 24 hour fresh rate, she, she's... Listen, okay, I haven't worn foundation for 24 hours, but I'm, I'm telling you, I probably could. I'd say the Revlon Candid Foundation is my second favorite. And then everything else is like, not, they're not favorites, they're not enemies they just you know yeah moving on to um what do you call these things concealers so these three shades right here all of which are 
LA Girl Pro Conceal, you know? So this is in the shade Mahogany, this is Dark Cocoa, and this is Chestnut. So these are all my contour shades. These three are my um, concealer slash like brightening concealers. Um, I use the shade Fawn for like defining my brows and you know carving out my um, eyelid for like a cut crease and stuff like that. I use this. Uh, this is the um, it's Maybelline, right? I think it's Maybelline. But this is the Instant Age Eraser Concealer, and it's in the shade. Ma'am, what shade are you in? Ten. It's in the shade 10. So this is like my under eye concealer, forehead, chin, nose. This is the curly that I use for that. And then I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer in the shade 45, but then I found her and I just, I didn't find the need to use her anymore. So definitely my favorite concealer, especially for like under the eye, for brightening, for concealing. She's definitely full coverage. She definitely gives that definition because I mean, look at my face. She's the girl for that. So yeah, those are my concealers. Okay, so next up we have brushes. These are my baby girls. All of them. Okay, they keep falling. Okay, so these are the brushes that I got from takealot.com. So they came with like face um, brushes and like eyeshadow brushes but i can't really find the eyeshadow brushes because i am a bit irresponsible so i don't know where i put stuff i'll link these brushes like all my makeup brushes i'll link in the description uh, in the description box below so that if you want them you can get them second set of brushes it's a set of brushes right of makeup brushes yeah so i don't know how many these came in the pack but there were a lot as well i think these were like 300 and something i also got them on takealot.com love them super soft get the job done apply makeup take it off no i'm not taking it off, apply makeup pretty well i love them they're phenomenal and then lastly i have these uh mermaid type of Brushes, I got these from AliExpress, like probably fresh jar. Uh, yeah, they're super chilled, super great. Uh, I didn't like these because they didn't come with like face brushes, they only came with like eyeshadow brushes, but it wasn't that much of a train smash because then I just got eyeshadow, I mean face brushes, but yeah. Okay, so up next is my eye area collection. So by eye area, I mean all of these babies over here. So let me break them down. First up we have mascaras. First up we have the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. Then we have, okay this is a bit faded, but we have the Essence Lash Princess uh, Mascara. And then we have the Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara. So these are my three favorite mascaras and each of them have a role. This baby here, I don't know why I said three favorite because she's not really a favorite. I just use her because she's like the first mascara I got, you know, like she'll hold my heart forever. This is my favorite mascara if I'm trying to get length. It's really great with length. I also use this um, before I apply my lashes and for some reason this is really good at like not sticking but molding my roll lashes in with the fake ones. So I love, 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 love this mascara. With this mascara I like, I don't know, it gives me definition. It doesn't give me length, it doesn't give me volume, it gives me definition and I love that. So I don't use this one as often as I use this one but you know I use it you know sometimes if I'm trying to get definition next up we have my lash glues so um, these are the two lash glues that I use the first one is the essence peel off lash glue um, I mean it's okay you know it doesn't do a terrible job it's still it's 
okay, okay? It's, it's okay, it's all right. Then you get my favorite lash glue, and that is the Catrice Cosmetics Lash Glue. Now, this is my favorite, 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 favorite lash glue. This girlie knows what she's doing. So moving on to like my brow kit, basically. I have this, I have this Ramel Brow Shake Filling Powder. I don't use this as often, but I love, 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 love this powder. Then I have these two pencils from Essence. This one over here is the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. Um, eyebrow pencil. I said eyebrow pencil. But in any case, yes, the eyebrow pencil, uh, and this is in the shade, I think, dark. And then this one is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate. So, if I'm going for a more dramatic brow look and I want like thick brows and just, you know, brows, I go for the Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And then if I'm going for something light, if I want to try like those feathery type of brows, then I go for this micro precise pencil and then just moving on to my liners so i have these two liners right over here first one is the ramel london wonder swipe two in one liner to shadow and this is in the shade insta famous and my second liner this is my next vinyl liquid liner in the shade black yeah in the shade black so these are my two liners um i love this gold liner this is perfect for when you're going out at night especially when there's going to be like flash photography it looks beautiful so i love this and then this is just your regular schmegula um black eyeliner it has this type of a tip to it very fine precise type of you know okay so we're nearly done with my makeup collection up next we have my face powders this is the yardley loose powder in the shade caramelized i love 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 this as a selling uh, powder i use it all the time on all my makeup looks you'll never catch me without this baby on my face i love it then next up my next favorite one is it's a bit faded so you can't see but this is the black opal lasting compact powder so it comes in like three divisions let me show you so this is the first um sort of uh powder and then second level is powder again and then the last level is a sort of concealer slash foundation and i use this to carve up my brows on top next i have my two bronzes slash highlights so the first one i'm just going to show you the back because that has a bit more information but it's the palladio baked bronzer in the shade illuminating tan and the next one is a catrice bronzer but the writing's a bit faded this is in the shade sunkissed bronze and i use this both as i use them both as my highlight slash um, bronzing powders so these are my babies right over here faves i use them both equally and then last but not least we have lipsticks lip glosses and liners so this is just a little bit like not like half of my lipstick collection and lip gloss collection so i'm gonna start off with my favorite glosses um okay so the first gloss i'm gonna talk about this is the catrice cosmetics uh prisma lip glaze so this is in the shade enchanted gold i love this lip gloss it's like it gives you more of a dramatic look it's not like a normal shimmery just like shine it has like glitter in it i don't know it makes your lips look exotic so i love this gloss although i don't wear it often because i don't go for exotic looks every day but i love this great you right here of course the essence lip glosses are here like essence 
everywhere. Essence, 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 essence. Essence, of course. This is in the shade Behind the Scenes. Love this cross, love it. This is the Wet and Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. Um, this is in the shade, I don't know what shade it's in, but I know I found this lip gloss because I was looking for the Essence one and I couldn't find it, so I'm like, I need an alternative clear lip gloss and I saw this and I grabbed it. It works pretty well, it's not as thick as the Essence lip gloss, but it's a side. And then I have these two Essence lip glosses. I think I'm obsessed with Essence actually actually i have these two lip glosses and they're from the plumping nudes collection so i have this brown type of nude and i have this pink type of nude so i love this pink type of nude especially like oh the lip combo is beautiful so you apply a layer of this like a layer of this shine 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 wet look lip gloss and then in the middle, like the center of your lips, you apply this and it gives you the most beautiful pink. Like your lips just look beautiful. Try it. This combo right here, try it. Um, I'm not gonna cover all my lipsticks because then we're really gonna be here for a while. So I'm just gonna show you like my top five lipsticks. So first two favorites are the Yardley Stay Fast lipsticks in the shade Sienna and chocolate brownie my favorite my favorite is definitely sienna sienna is that girl she's a beautiful brown and then what i do is i pair her with the makeup revolution um matte liquid lipstick and this is in the shade noble so i pair them together and it gives me this beautiful brown and it's like beige type of lip combo i love it this is my favorite these two are my favorites Next, I have the you, no Ramel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the shade Plum The Show. So this is the color that I'm wearing today. In the middle or in the center, I put Noble to create this ombre type of vibe. Again, favorite combo. I think this shade just goes with every lipstick. It gives me that vibe. But um, for ombres. It's perfect so another favorite and then I have this orange shade so this is from Yardley it's a bit faded as you can see so I don't really know the name of this um, collection but this is in the shade electric tangerine beautiful if I line my lips with Sienna from um, the Lipstick stay fast collection and I put this in the middle and I mix them together. It looks gorgeous So another lip combo that I love Those are my favorite lipsticks. I don't want to get into everything else because I haven't seen them in years like this blue lipstick over here. It's from Where I don't know where this is from because it's not written, but it's in the shade midnight blue and It's a blue lipstick I want to know what possessed me to get a blue lipstick in my mind I was like I might look beautiful but what I didn't take into account was that I might not yeah that's basically my entire makeup collection lipsticks powders eyeshadows eyeliners brow kits um what else am i missing i just have a bunch of other random stuff like for instance this essence all about matte oil control paper um if you're a subscriber you know what this is i've had a video where i featured this product basically if you have an oily face an oily t-zone this is perfect for absorbing oil and not messing up your makeup so you just open it up like that and then you take out a piece of paper and you literally just pat it on whichever area feels oily or looks oily and then it removes the oil without disturbing your makeup so as you can see the oil on my nose is never resting 
You can get it at any place that has Essence products, basically. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video like I enjoyed filming it for you guys. I'm really trying to be more consistent. I want to be more consistent. And I think forcing myself to release videos is going to get me to a point where like, it falls into my routine. So I'm currently going through that stage where I'm you know, trying to get serious and trying to put time aside for everything going on in my life so please be patient thank you so much for everybody who's been subscribing we are close to 1k and i really want to reach 1k before my birthday my birthday is in april and i really think we can do it we're like on 860 we're like we just need we just, we need 140 subscribers that's not that bad i feel like we can really do it so please if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed please subscribe it's free i post nice videos i'm a nice person sometimes it will really motivate me if people actually subscribe and engage with my content so please make sure that you do comment um comment on this video whether you liked it or not comment on the type of videos that you want to see you know give me suggestions like just talk to me communicate with me but other than that make sure you like comment share and subscribe and come back to my next video the next time that i post it and i hope the next time that i see you will be that much closer to 1k subscribers so yeah thanks guys thank you for watching my video and i'll talk to you guys well i'll see you in my next one okay 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 okay, okay.